weeks now I've been saying that we could start to feel more comfortable with this market once we see the resumption of some merger and acquisition activity, something that almost totally dried up since the beginning of 2016. Then today we got two major deals, Abbott Labs by Lear and Dominion Resources snapping up Questar. I think the latter deal could turn out to be very important. Dominion, for those of you who don't know, is one of the largest gas and electric utilities in the country, with a major natural gas gathering, transmission, and distribution pipeline business. They're paying $4.4 billion in cash to acquire Questar, which is a Utah-based natural gas distribution, pipeline storage, and gas supply company. I think this could be the first of many opportunistic M&A transactions in the energy space, as deep-pocketed outfits like Dominion pick off the highest quality distressed players in the group. Now, while Dominion just reported a less than stellar quarter this morning, the company missed Wall Street's consensus. You know, i got to tell you, there's unseasonably warm weather. I think the stock could very well be intriguing into today's weakness. Questar deal is supposed to be immediately added to the company's earnings. Let's take a closer look with Tom Farrell, the chairman and CEO of Dominion Resources, to find out more about this deal and his company's prospects. Mr. Farrell, welcome back to Mad Money. Good evening, Jim. Good to be with you. Well, Tom, I've got to tell you, the, uh, none of the analyst notes in the uh, conference call didn't give you credit. Uh, back in 2007, you sold $11 billion worth of assets at the, what looks to be almost the absolute top. Now you're coming back in and buying a company that is down, that, the, whose stock is down and out, but the company isn't down and out. Just talk about the reshuffling that you've done with Dominion and how you sold high, and now I think you're buying low. Well, Jim, thank you for that. The, this, the assets we sold in 2007 were uh, oil and gas production assets, uh, and we sold them in pieces over 2007, 2008, near the highs of the market. Gas is quite low now. These, the company, Questar, is a, is a very well-run company, great employees, sits in, uh, headquartered in Utah. It is a natural gas infrastructure company. It doesn't it's not a classic EMP right. production company like the assets we sold. It's pipelines, local gas distribution, and a rate-based gas supply for the benefit of its customers. Very good company. Well, I, I know that you do have, there is a Wexpro business that's small that you're going to keep. But what I found interesting and did not know about Questar until you told us on the conference call, this is the hub for California for the most part. That's a big market for you now. Yes, our, our, our pipeline assets in the east are the hub of the mid-Atlantic. All the gas pipelines that come from east to west and south to north and from Canada down all touch our pipeline system, Dominion Transmission. And the same is true for Questar uh, in the northern part of the western states. All of that, all the gas runs through that company. Uh, a great, deep, great percentage of the gas runs through that company, and we're looking to help expand. Is this to some degree also a bet... Uh that recognizing that coal will have increasingly less uh, strength in this country because it seems like that these were coal-based places that are have to go natural gas because of the EPA. Utah and Wyoming both, uh, about 80% of their electricity is produced by coal. Uh, it's relatively clean coal, so-called Powder River Basin coal, but it still has carbon emissions, and uh, there's going to have to be some work done to comply with the EPA's clean power plant. Do you think the Questar stock was brought low because this group is all trading together like a, uh, in baskets? Because I thought that what you did basically was to say, I know this thing is, shouldn't be down there with companies that are actually pure oil and gas companies. And therefore, that's how you were able to get it for $4, you know, for $4 billion, as opposed to, say, $8 billion maybe three years ago. Well, if you, if you track their stock, it's, it's uh, traded down when natural gas prices started down. Because of this uh, smaller investment they have in Wexpro, uh, as a part of uh, Dominion overall, Wexpro is a very small, would be a very small part. And it's a rate-based gas, which it's, uh, we don't have enough time to talk about that uh, right. this evening, but it's different, very, very different from a commodity uh, gas production company. Okay, should we? Uh, there's been a lot of talk about how the liquefied natural gas market has gotten very tough overseas. Do we need to be worried about your big co point? Uh, uh, LNG liquefaction, or are you just pretty sure that those contracts are good and, and it's just a really good investment for Dominion? It's a great investment for Dominion. It's on time. It's on budget. It'll be uh, sending gas, natural gas out, liquefied form uh, late next year. It has long-term take-or-pay contracts for 20 years with uh, highly creditworthy partners in Japan and India. I'm not concerned about the contracts at all. Commodity price makes no difference. Today, there was an article that was actually the most referenced article in the New York Times about how some of these big tech companies, including Microsoft, are actually putting undersea uh, uh, servers. You are the headquarters for low-cost server power. Is this something you have to worry about for Dominion, or is it just there's more the merrier? 
Uh, I think that's more the merrier. We've uh, we brought online. We have more data centers than anywhere in the United States in our service territory. There are more coming. We expect nine more this year. Uh, it's because partly because we have a lot of fiber in the state, but uh, a lot of it has to do with our low uh, cost electricity and very reliable electricity, which is their highest marginal cost. And we recently entered into a contract with Amazon to build a solar farm uh, to to. Uh, get the electricity from solar farms to their uh, data centers in Virginia. So we're looking at uh, renew renewable resources as well uh, to provide that power. Excellent. Tom Farrell, congratulations. And I thought it was a really, really smart acquisition. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much, Jim. That's Tom Farrell, Chairman, President, CEO of Dominion Resources. The retail These utilities have been red hot. And I think the letter D, you get a quick discount. It's the one to buy. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.